All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallout Frost, where today we are, well, exactly where we left off in the last episode, as unfortunately, I was actually really hoping to do a little bit of stuff off camera. I have some odds and ends and just general housekeeping that I need to do, but sadly, I just haven't had the time to do it this past weekend because of just a very busy schedule, which is highly unfortunate, as a big thing I wanted to do was actually scrap the hell out of this base and see if I had enough resources to make some interesting upgrades for my guns. But yeah, like I said, unfortunately didn't have the time. And so today we're going to be doing other things. I was, I actually honestly thought at first, maybe we just do it on camera. But then I thought about it and a half hour of me just going around to every piece of junk in here and going, ooh, do I need that? Nope, scrap. Ooh, do I need that? Oh, nope, scrap, etc. Just didn't seem very entertaining. <laughs> and so... We will head onward to do something that you guys reminded me about in the comments. Now, before we talk about that, though, uh, the Crater House. I asked you guys in the last episode if it was worth going there, and if it was, is it chock full of radiation considering the symbol? And you guys did confirm that yes, yes, it is chock full of radiation, and that no, it's really not worth it. At least in vanilla, the only loot of note is a magazine, according to you guys, that uh, makes it so I take less damage from insects. Which in Frost is useless. So we're not going to go to the Crater House, because frankly, the only bugs we have to deal with in Frost are just slightly larger roaches, which technically are rad roaches, but I mean, come on, they're not really that big of a deal. Blood bugs and sting wings, etc. haven't come into being yet in the wasteland. So yeah, the cockroaches, we can just hit them with the ripper and they die. So I really don't care about that magazine. Now apparently there's also a couple of uh, live mini nukes or mini nuke mines, etc. that I could pick up, but probably I'd end up killing myself with those. So what we're gonna do instead for today is uh, another thing in the comments you guys reminded me about, and that is in Salem. Yes, we're heading back there for the last time. This is gonna be the last episode up in this area, and then next episode. Episode, I actually want to head back into town uh, to do some stuff there, so we'll talk about that more next episode. But for today, you reminded me, oh uh, yeah, I didn't uh, go back to the church and take out everyone inside of it. So that's what we're going to do. And on the way, we're going to head back into the convalescence home real quick, as that's one of the things I wanted to do off camera, was finish looting that building, including grabbing the uh, fatigues up in Gladys's room, as well, we're wearing some lovely flannel shirt and jeans, which are good. They've, they've served me well, mainly because they allow me to wear all the armor pieces. That's why I've kept them around. But the fatigues also armor or uh, also offer rather some stat bonuses. And I'd like to see if they'll work with the rest of the armor. We had some fatigues early on in this game, but I think they were gunner fatigues or something along those lines. They weren't straight army fatigues, and so they wouldn't let us have leg pieces, I think it was. So if these allow me to have all the pieces, we're good, we'll take them. If not, we're leaving them, I don't care. So we're gonna go figure that out real quick, then take care of the church, and that hopefully should make for a good episode. Now, all we need to do is actually get back over to Salem without exploding from a mine here. All right, I'm using vats right now, I'm not seeing any mines. So let us make our way along here, and hopefully not die. Cool, we did. Oh God, there's a mine. And let's not go there. So down straight below me seems to oh, no, the Oh, that's the crater house. Little bunker. Okay, okay. Alright, we're going along around the bunker. So straight over the hill first. There should be another road, I think. Yes, the road to Salem. And we'll follow that past the Museum of Witchcraft. And hopefully we should be good. So we just need to drop down. Excellent. No explosives hidden. Oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> it's definitely something I don't need to deal with. Uh, it is that my arch nemesis, after all, is explosive mines. Or any explosives, for that matter. They, uh, they all seem to kill me pretty good. 
All right, so let's go at an angle, go over here. One thing I also need to do when I get back to our base. Oh, it's people again here. What the hell? Didn't last time we passed by this, there were ghouls. And before that, there was another person, Devin, I think their name was. Now we have Moss and Mickey. Huh. All right, well, I'm just going to ignore them. <laughs> eh, one of them's green, so I'm happy. I don't really care. Now, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yes. When, uh, one of the things I also need to remember to do is when I head home next, I have a fungal purge in my... Uh, one of my storage facilities there, which is a good thing. Oh, boy. We just had some major frame drops there. And I... Oh, God, my crab. <laughs> and, yeah, I need to get rid of some of this radiation. We do, of course, have that rat away we found in the convalescence home. But I don't want to use that unless we get seriously irradiated. Because remember last time we did do that, it gave us a whole lot of other debuffs. And we are actually a little peckish. We need some food. So, yeah, I'd like to avoid using that unless I absolutely have to. Uh, the Crab of Venison might be nice, especially for the, what, zero carry weight bonus. What? Huh? Isn't that supposed to be like plus 25, not plus zero? Huh. Okay, well that's weird. Melon, let's eat that. Oh god, it had radiation. There we go, we're fed. All right, into the convalescence home. <laughs> little hydrated too them with the melon. I didn't even think about that. Perfect. That'll uh, make it a little bit nicer, a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Prepared for the future, I guess. We won't have to drink quite so soon. Hello again, guys, how are you? Hopefully you're all well. Dealing with the bodies nicely, I see. Just leaving them there? I mean, you don't wanna, I don't know, clean up for your guests, perhaps? Ooh! Oh god, also seeing him reminded me. Thank you for you guys in the comments correcting me on uh, that voice that we heard in the last episode. I don't know why I thought it was an Assault Tron. I just hear robot voice that's not clearly like a uh, one of these guys down here, Mr. Handy, or the other robot that I'm suddenly forgetting the name of. Ha! Ah, joyous blanking of memory. Uh, but yeah, whenever I see, or hear rather, any voice like that, I just immediately think Assault Tron. But no, it was a synth. Thank you for the correction, guys. Uh, also, grenades here. Uh, thank you for that comment as well. And where was the fatigues? Ah, there they are. Perfect. Ooh, nice helmet, too. Do I have already... Do I have a helmet? What am I wearing for a helmet? Mining helmet. Oh, yeah, I gotta have that light. Never mind. <laughs> All right, let's check out these fatigues. Also, not in the blinding light. There we are. Lovely. You can see that better. Oh, thank crap. They still let me wear all of my armor. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'll have to look back at one of the very old videos when we had some other form of fatigues to see what type they were. Because, yeah, that those that we found ages ago just let us wear arms and chest, but not legs, I think it was. So this is much better. Now we have plus one strength, plus one agility, no damage resistance, which is unfortunate, but hey, we get a little bit of extra carry weight out of the whole situation and a bit more VAT points, so that is always good. Let's just go ahead and drop the... Well, I could always set an ass girl. We'll just drop it. <laughs> little bit less weight. There we are. Perfect. And now we look, if I can zoom out, much nicer, much more professional, question mark, with the pink helmet and the um, smiley face mask. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely can't say we look professional. All right, let's scroll in. Perfect. And uh, also thank you to you guys for pointing out a lot of fun areas where we could find aluminum. Again, that's going to be something I, I need to do off camera. I basically just need to spend like a whole hour or two off camera just looking for aluminum in all the places you guys mentioned. You know, I never looked out the windows in here before. Huh, cool. Nice view. Much nicer view from in here than outside. Outside, it's all hazy and crap. <laughs> can I see out this one? Aw, oh, I can, but barely. Yeah, oh well. Uh, but yeah, I need to spend a lot of time finding all that aluminum stuff, because, oh boy, I need a lot of it to fix my armor. Basically, every piece... Well, the leg is broken now. Oh, God, radiation storm back inside. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
Oh, just what I needed. Just, just what I needed. Oh, Lord. All right. I need to sit down and, like, fast forward real quick. Uh, there's a chair over here. Couch. We'll just fast forward for, like, an hour. And that should be good. And also not put us uh, too late, because I don't really want to be out at night fighting these guys. So, now... Waiting for it. Ah, oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, that was worrisome. Never want to be outside in a radiation. Wow, those power lines are freaking out. Look at that. <laughs> I guess it's windy. All right, who would have thought? Oh my God. Oh, oh no, he's inside. For a second, I thought it was a Themis cultist outside, and I was worried that they'd all returned. <laughs> Nah, nah, I murdered all these people easily. Okay, also, wow, that was some popping on some of those things. Hold on, back up, back up. Oh, no, I guess it was since I turned the corner. Eh. Yeah, okay, but yeah, like that lantern popped in very irregularly. Alright, guys, hello, how are all of you? I just want to um, inform you, you're all about to die. I'm going to set up at least one mine and shoot you in the... F ah, it didn't work. <laughs> Well, it at least got their attention, so what we're going to do is pop a mine right in front of the door, and then explode them. Let's... Do I want to put it here? Do I want to put it here? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. Though I'm stuck on that thing now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, let's set it down. Unlock. Hi. Ooh, person with flamethrower. Thank God you're going to be the first one through the door. Oh, Jesus, the car blew up too. I, um... I didn't think about the car. <laughs> that, uh, that thought didn't even cross my mind. Oh, God, where is it going to take me back to? Please let it have saved when I came out of the convalescence home and not back where I started the episode. I think I have my cheaty save mod turned on for doors. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Let's find out. Let's find out here. Oh, and Protectron was the name of the other robots. Oh, God. It was back here. Okay, guys. What we're going to do is I'm going to first and foremost make my way back. And grab the fatigues again. I'm going to do that. And just fast forward, you guys, until I get back there. Because, yeah, you don't need to see me doing this walk of shame. That's just... Uh, depressing. Very, very depressing for me. So, yes, I'll bring you guys back here in a second. Okay, we are outside the convalescence home after just grabbing the fatigues, and thankfully, there was no radiation storm this time. So, it is earlier in the day, which is nice, so we have a lot of good sunlight. And now, let's go and kill these fools. <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe the car thing. I didn't even think about that. That was not anywhere. Oh, oh boy, maybe if I go back there, because... I still want them to march straight back, so of course that I can uh, explode them. Though, if we... I guess if we put the mine right in the door, because what I was worried about is that the mine go might go off through the door. But yeah, they're all pretty clear of the door here until I do this. So just pop that there. Unlock it. Hi, guys! Come at me! <laughs> that shot should get their attention. Did not kill one. Boom! That didn't kill him either. But, you know, it weakened him a little bit more, so that's nice. Hello! Oh, he's hurt! He has a flamethrower! Oh, God, heat is bad, fire is bad! Well, he's dead, thank God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> fire is not my friend. I also think a stray bullet killed someone behind him. Either that or they went back into the uh, the church. Because he does not seem happy. Hello, how are you? You're running away. Oh, no, no, you're coming at me. <laughs> All right, it's time for you to die. 
Oh, I don't know why I just did critical. I accidentally hit spacebar, and that was a waste of a critical. Oh, man. That was a serious waste. That disappoints me. I'm disappointed in myself. There's a second floor key? The incomplete gospel. Pastor's vestments. Oh, he's like their pastor, huh? Hold on, let me get a look at this. Oh, come on. Cooperate with me here, pastor. Can't seem to flip him over. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So that's the vestments, huh? Meh. Uh, you have nothing of value. Let's go check out stuff in here. Pool cue, no. No. Hello? Oh, hi, person sitting there. Oh, <gasps> fungal purge, yes. Yes. Hello? That was a miss. <laughs> also a miss. Ah. There we go. Miss, miss. Oh, Jesus. Even in fats, I, I hit nothing. All right, good. Anyone else? Not that I can tell. I'll take your cash. Reload a bit here. God, I love that they don't use weaponry. <laughs> well, I mean, like, real weapon. None of them have guns. It's a very good thing for me. Helps me survive longer against these guys. They're easier to kill. Good for leveling up. Uh, beer bottles. No, I don't need those at the moment. Well, I always do, but I'll come back to grab those. What do we got here? Wine. Full alcohol. Yes, there we go. Bowl. Meh. Eight ball. No, no. All right, what was this incomplete gospel? Let's go. Whoop. Nope. Miscellaneous. Uh, bu -bu 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 hmm? I picked it up, right? Oh, there it is. It was a the incomplete gospel. I was looking for eyes. Okay, there we are. What do we have? From the pen of Father Daniel, the gospel of Themis, a lesson in mercy. <laughs> I showed them none. Evelyn raised me up. We took shelter by the racetrack while my wounds healed. The rain fell black that night. Less and less, my thoughts turned to aiding the refugees of Boston. All that mattered was vengeance. Ah, good old vengeance. And vengeance came. When I could walk, we took up the hunt. Day and night we searched. And when that fateful day came, we strung them up on the burnt-out husk of an old oak tree. Murderer, read the signs around their necks. See what our charity is worth of them now. Our flock grows. Yesterday we came upon a camp of raiders, the beasts. Had a woman and her babe locked away. She screamed when we hung them. Poor thing. Traumatized, no doubt. She is safe now. We show no mercy to sinners because they showed no mercy to us. We are the fist of God. <laughs> and I'm... Yeah, you guys uh, didn't do a good job there with me then. <laughs> uh, it's fun blaspheming. All right, well, let's see. Anything out there? No, we have a second story key, which has... We saw from the outside a glowing one, which is slightly terrifying. So, we're going to do this. I'm actually going to switch over to the gainer. And this is where I wish I wouldn't have wasted that uh, critical hit. <laughs> so we could have used it on him. Uh, it would have gone much nicer for us. One would think. Oh, he's dead! Oh, thank crap. Also, wow, with that neck. Jeez. Oh, boy, that is... Oh, that's Father Daniel. Wow, dude, what'd you do to your neck? <laughs> okay, okay. Father Daniel went crazy and surrounded himself in toys. Does this spell anything? Ah, uh, see, that would have been great if, like, the uh, letters on the floor would have spelled something, but no... No, not really. Well, I'm glad he's actually not something we need to kill. Black room glasses, no. Picture frame, no. God, he scares the crap out of me whenever we go buy him, though. 
I mean, seriously, what's with the neck? What the hell? Also, why did we need a key to get up to the second story? Huh, I don't know. Alright, up we go. Maybe there's like a locked thing. Rat poison, that's always fun. Bones, more... Ooh, cash. Nice. Not that it's worth anything in this world. But, you know, I mean, there's a, that's a thing. Alright. What do we got here? Burnt Trade Magazine. Another computer. Daniel's Vision. Yes. Eh. Eh. I mean, sure, what the hell, we'll take it, but let's check the terminal here. Property of the Holy Nation of Themis. World weary. Two months ago, I was giving sermons from up here. My flock hung on my every word, but now I'm just so tired. The flock is eager for me to impart more wisdom, but no revelations have come. I have the answer to all my questions. Or wait. I know the answer to all my questions is sitting there at the edge of my grasp, but I find my thoughts drifting again. The water thief died a quicker death than he deserved. Had he purer water, he, she would have, or would still live. Had we purer water, she would still live. Okay, okay, interesting. Of Evelyn. I buried her beneath the oak tree where this all began. She would have wanted that. Evelyn, you were with me since the start. You who taught me all I know of God. You who still, who will still stay in my heart until the end. God judge you justly. Okay, fair enough. Seriously, what was the key for? Hold on, let's... Dun, 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 dun. Church of Salem key. Church of Salem second floor key. Huh? Is there, like, something we could find? Let's move around the roof. No? Huh. Interesting. Oh god, oh god, I'm falling. Oh boy. Alright, back up to safety. Okay. Random cash sitting here. Now I want to know where the hell this key goes to. Hmm. So this Themis cult, their leader, has passed. Well, he became a feral ghoul and someone took care of him. But where would he have needed a key thing? I mean, we're on the second floor. But there's nothing in with with a key. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't. And still very creepy long neck. <sighs> All right, well, let's get the hell out of here. Since I don't think I'll ever figure out what that key's for. Yeah, I don't see anything there. Hmm. I truly have no clue. If one of you guys knows, please tell me in the comments. I would love to hear I am both hungry and thirsty. Oh, of course, of course. Oh, Lord. All right, where's that melon we ate last episode? Ooh, and the cup noodle. That'll help with both. Yes, it did. Perfect. We're good. All right, well. Hmm. Dinner plate in the mailbox. Okay. Why does that still have light? <laughs> well, let me turn that off. What the? It's still producing light of some variety. That is weird. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that was basically everything we had for today. <laughs> We've killed them all and taken care of them, which is quite nice. Let's actually uh, go stop back by the merchant real quick. Buy some more 44 ammo. And sell some other crap that we got. I think that'd be good. And then we will call it an episode. I think that is how today will go. So a good one. But yes, for the next episode, what we're going to be doing is, well, this is the last we'll see. Oh, God. Feral Ghoul where? Feral Ghoul where? Oh, yay. 
Ah, uh, freaking crap. Are they coming for me? They are searching. I'm going to back away since they're still searching. Maybe I can lose them. My god, I think I might lose them. Ha-ha! <laughs> Undetected! Perfect! But yes, that is the last we're going to see of Salem. What we're going to do for the next episode is head back towards town as what we need is, well, we need blueprints. We have not really had much luck finding any. I mean, we grabbed one, but that was all so far. And what we desperately need for our settlement is power. If we have power, we can build a radio transmitter and actually get people to come. And then they can harvest my crops. And, you know, we can have a wonderful, wonderful living, Best working colony the there. Right and here. so we're going to head into town and head to the library, as that is where sure. you guys have told Let's me you've had luck finding blueprints. So I think that'll be a fun, fun day indeed. Uh, I'm going to buy all of these 44 rounds for 483 caps. Perfect. And what do I want to sell? I'm going to drop this off back home. I mean, actually, pretty good damage. Medium swing. I don't know. We'll keep it on us for now, at least. Uh, tell me if you guys think that's good or not in the comments. I'm intrigued by it. But uh, let's see. Any aid items? No, I actually dropped off all the ones that I wanted to sell. Oh, I forgot about that. I literally did. I dropped all of my jet and all that sort of stuff off back at my settlement before we came out to uh, hit the lighthouse. I need to go back and grab all that and come back to this guy to sell all those wonderful things. Oh, I completely forgot. We could sell the incomplete gospel for zero. <laughs> oh, I need you to build the communication or the radio tower later. Yeah, we'll sell some of these. I got a crap load of this stuff. You know what? I have to sell a hundred of them. That should be... Oh, God. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do it manually here. Grab this. There we go. Perfect. I can deal with that. Uh, anything else I want from him? Do what's my 10 millimeter round situation like? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, does he have bobby pins out of uh, curiosity? I mean, ooh, cow meat. Hmm. I do like cow meat. <laughs> All right. Does he have... No, just jangles the moon monkey. I was hoping he might have like a bobby pin or something. No, you know what? That should be good. That's all we need. I wanted those 44 rounds. Perfect. And now we're carrying too much and can't run. How much is too much? That can be remedied through alcohol. Perfect. All right. Well, that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed. And, of course, that you do come back for the next when we will start making our way back to town. And if you guys have any good areas where you've found blueprints in town or even out in the countryside in the Commonwealth, I would love to hear it as well. I could use all the help I can get in that regard. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it. I hope you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.